Welcome back to YouTubers. Today we're taking a look at the latest in Stone's Barrel Age releases in their Quingente Military Series. And this is Bastard in the Rye. This is 2013 Arrogant Bastard Ale aged in Templeton Rye Whiskey Barrels, which is really cool. Uh, they're aged five months and they uh, balled it in May of this year and it clocks in at 10%. So yeah, Arrogant Bastard Ale, that, uh, that one beer that... Uh, Got a lot of attention when I reviewed it, but um, we'll see how it does in rye whiskey barrels. I got it poured out. It's a it's a very hazy, uh, dark orange. It's got like reddish tinges to it. The head's slightly off white. We'll see how this beer. You know, it's it's a pretty hoppy beer, fresh. So I don't know if they took absolutely fresh uh, batch of arrogant bastard and threw it into the barrels, or if they aged uh, aged that beer longer prior to going in the barrels. We'll see. But um, I believe what they're doing with all these barrel-aged beers is they're leaving them pretty much uh, unfiltered. So hence all the, the haze on it. It's got good carbonation though. It's a little bit of alcohol legs on the glass. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, you... Um, not as much hops as I was expecting. They're definitely there. That Chinook, it's supposedly Chinook hops are, are present. So you can definitely get some earthiness. You get a ton of sweetness though, be it uh, caramel malt sweetness, uh, the rye whiskey sweetness coming through, a lot of vanilla sweetness as well. Yeah, it's got a little bit of that piney uh, edge to it, like a piney woody earthy note. And so it's like the hops with the barrel kind of coming together with that kind of nose. Yeah, a lot of sweetness, um, maybe a touch of spice from the rye notes in there. You can pick some of that up, but uh, it smells pretty good. Let's uh, dig in. Cheers. Yeah, it's it's pretty nice. It's It's got barrel character, but it's not over dominating the beer. Uh, you can definitely taste the fact that this is Arrogant Bastard underneath. Um, more hot presence on the flavor, I would say, than the aroma as well. But flavor-wise, I'm definitely getting more spiciness, and I don't know if that's just from the Templeton uh, Rye Whiskey character, or if that's a combination of that and the, the hops, which I'm guessing it is. There's definitely a lot of that piney, um, resiny character to the beer coming from the hops. Which and there's a little bit of like a citrus edge to it as well, um, so there's still a good amount of bitterness left on this beer. The beer kind of goes different ways in terms of it, it's sweet up front with like just the intense bready caramel base beer notes. Then you get a lot of um, the hops coming into play, the hop flavors. And then it transitions into the whiskey flavors and like the sweeter caramel spicy rye characteristic. And then the finish has lingering hop character that kind of goes with the vanilla and oak component to it, to the beer. And then you're just left with a lot of lingering uh, bitterness from the hops. Kind of buried beneath everything. There's a little bit of a dark fruit flavor, but it's kind of hard to pin down because you just hit it over the head with this hop character and the barrel character, which are kind of battling it out um, in the beer. And so, I don't know. Um, I. I I, I like the beer, but um, you know, I, I feel like the hops are still getting in the way too much, and uh, I prefer a less hoppy beer going into the barrel because it's got some really cool barrel character, really like nice toasty oak, vanilla character, spiciness. It's all present with some uh, caramel notes, and the base beer I can see working better. It, it'd be better, I think, if the beer was less fresh going into the barrel. I, I, I think I prefer it that way, but. Um, you know, not quite up there with like Southern Chard for me in terms of that was just had that huge, sweeter, big barrel character. So, you know, five months in, they got a good amount of character out of the beer. I mean, I just think the base beer, uh, you know, is they should design something better. I'd love to see them bring back Stonewall or a barley wine like Stonewall. Put that in barrels, it'd be utterly amazing. Um, the Arrogant Bastard Ale going into barrels, you know, it works, it's it's fine. Um, 
The beer definitely saw limited distribution, or it got distribution in San Diego. I don't know if it's showing up other parts of the country, but Bastard and the Rye, you know, it's it's solid. It's a, it's a, it's a bee-like beer. Uh, thankfully, it's been one of the cheaper barrel-aged beers they've done. I picked this one up at Trader Joe's for, I think it was like 12 or $13, so, you know, not terrible. I mean, it's cheaper than some of the other ones they put out. So, is it worth picking up? If you're a fan of Templeton Rye Whiskey Barrels, absolutely is. And if you want, um, if you're a hop head that wants to see how a, a big hoppy beer goes into barrels, it's a it's a cool one to try. But um, yeah, it's it's solid. Uh, we're trying. If you if you think you uh, like the flavor profile, so that's gonna wrap this one up. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.